What's up, baby blossoms and tie-ins? What's going on? It's me, Vasori. I am here on today to give you a um, healing ritual, healing spell. This here is mainly focused on depression and anxiety removal. Today is Sunday. Today is a great day for working healing spells, um, happiness, anything to bring joy into your life remove any type of um bondage from you any type of um uh, health issues today is a great day to work on those types of spells i actually have my uh where i anoint my candles and everything here all my herbs everything that i need to do this particular work let's talk about this too i have um very much in my family um a history of depression it started and this is to one of those spells to break generational curses that generation generational curse that brings in um and i'm gonna add that to my candle too we're gonna start the ritual in a minute So I added that to my candle, but to break generational curses that are passed down in your family, which depression is one of them in my family. It is held with my mom. When I say held, meaning she has a wall up so high that it's hard to break that wall. And this happens when you have dealt with depression years and years and holding on to emotional tra traumas and holding on to generational things that happen and it comes down the line so my mom my mom has that particular issue when it comes to me it it veers is ugly head some of the times in my life um when my i'm a libra so when my scales are unbalanced, that is when I feel anxiety or I feel depression or I feel a sadness coming on. And I have to fight like, a, like I'm fighting a man in the street in order to not feel that way and not let that happen to me. And I have dealt with that all of my life. And it only triggers when something very... um where it shakes my shakes my house or shakes anything in my realm that is when it happens when something is coming and I don't know how it's going to happen and something that happened and I don't know or I can't see the future of what will happen that is usually when it veers its ugly head in my life but guess what this day here this particular day we're going to work the a depression candle for to bring in happiness, uh, healing, a protection around my head or inside of my head, as well as my family members. Gen removing of um, depression and anxiety and also removing of those generational curses, traumas, and dramas passed down from generation to generation. It stops here, okay? I do not allow it. And when I feel it, I'm going to turn my fan on, y'all. Okay. Because it's getting hot. I have my um, ring light on. So it's getting a little hot in here. But yeah, when I feel it coming, I stop all work. All work. And I focus on me. So that means if I'm doing any services for you, you're totally fine. I, j I just stop for a day or two focus on me and myself and I, and then I'll continue back to my work whenever I get my my shit dealt with, okay? Because I'm going to come first, and I have to fix me, and I never do spell work for anyone if I'm feeling unwavering in my um psyche or in my life or things are going on, I stop spell work because you do not want to put that energy into anyone else's work. You know what I mean? So, 
I do want to say um, this particular spell is going to go deep. Deep as in the mental plane in your head space. And it is great, great, great for that type of energy. Because I get it, y'all. I have it too. But I am not claiming it. I'm sending it and removing it as soon as it comes. That's how you fix it. Because if you let it stay, let it sit. You know, water gets stagnant when it sits. It gets murky. It gets thick. It gets icky. We don't want that. No sitting negative energy inside of me. And you should not allow it inside of you. You, you, you hear me? So if you're following me, please like, subscribe, and support my channel. And let's get into this healing work on this day right here. And I'm going to do a full detail um, working for you. Again, this candle is for me as well as my family members. Um, I'm showing you how to anoint the candle. I have most of the things ready. And this particular spell, it came, I usually get my spells from um, books, other witches, other practitioners, um, root workers, and also from my own personal book of shadows. This particular spell right here is from me. This particular spell, I... Um, have a herbal apothecary and I was led to by spirit of the herbs that I wanted to work in this particular spell work or ritual. I do offer offer my um, spells too. I am proficient in candle magic. Um, if you would like me to perform this particular spell for you, feel free to go to my website, visionsbybasori.com, and message me the title of this video. And I will message you back to let you know the price and what I will need in order to perform the ritual. My spell work usually runs from $50 to $250, depending on the work. All rituals are done at my own discretion. And dependent on the cycle of the moon, which only means... I will hold the work until that specific cycle. And some of the rituals I give, I just will not perform. All right. So let's get into the spell work right quick. Let me turn the camera. I'm actually going to turn it down. Okay. Hold on. I have my windows up. Y'all, I am not burning an incense on this particular ritual. Since my head, I don't know, you know, feeling a little wavy. I don't want that those smells. So I opted into a spray. All right. Just so you know. Let's make sure you guys can see. I was going to use my other camera. There we go. You guys can see that. All right. Turn it just a little bit. Okay. So the books that I'm using in said spell. I'm actually doing a yellow candle with sigil already drawn. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And I'm also going to do a protection jar. Okay. If you uh, get this particular ritual, I don't know the name of it. I'll put it in the descriptions. And then you'll also, I'll also erect a spell jar for you to keep on your purse. And it's going to be wax sealed. So this one I'm doing for myself with all the herbs that I'm using now, okay? All right, so I'm using yellow. I'm also gonna be doing, this is where I keep, I love spell bags, spell jars, as well as candles. I'm very proficient in that, like I said. I um, use a lot of medicine bags. This is a small medicine bag here. This is in black. If I do something protecting, I usually have different colors. Let's see. And I'm going to do a spell bag as well off camera. But this here, mm, I don't have a yellow. Let's see. This particular one here is going to be placed. I'm going to um, place it up under my pillow when I sleep. Okay. And you can also purchase one as well. Let's see. I always keep. Here we go or yellow one so i'm gonna also be doing a spell bag with the herbs and everything i need in here um placing it under my pillow as i sleep to help me heal okay in yellow 
Now I'm going to show you guys what I have. Let me move this because I'm going to do this off camera. Again, all the herbs that I'm using now goes in that spell bag. So I'm going to be using a yellow candle. I'm also going to be using corn flour. And corn flour is used for peace as well as happiness. Corn flour. I'm going to be using eucalyptus for healing. Witch's grass, and that is for depression. Hey, it's specifically for depression and happiness as well. So I'm pulling in all. I want to do removal as well. So this here, look. Witch's grass is great for that type of energy if you have depression or anxiety. Also, I'm going to be using dog grass, and dog grass is used for removing depression. Okay. And all of these items are sold in my herbal apothecary in my store, visionsbabasori.com. I'm going to use some lavender. Lavender is used for peace and happiness. That's what I'm pulling in. And this is my own specific releasing herbal spell mix. I made this. This has cloves and all different types of herbs to release anything that you want gone to vanish. And I want depression, anxiety not to be in my life. Nobody ain't got time for that. Um, I have my Florida water to cleanse my candle uh, and I'm going to also be using amethyst chips and this is amethyst. This is for happiness. I do put these in my candle work and the oil that I'm going to be using is my exclusive healing renew conjure oil. It has corn flour, um, a lot of different herbs to heal you and renew you all in the same breath. So this here, again, is available on my site, visionsbibleswory.com. Or you can use any type of healing, renewal, cleansing, um, banish, not banishing, but more of a healing oil, a health oil, that type of thing. Okay, I'm going to be using that too. I also have other stones, citrine smooth as well as citrine um, rough cut. I'm going to be using these two stones on my um, in my work. And these are, of course, citrine is to bring in happiness, bring in that type of emotional balance. So I'm going to be using these two as well. And the two books that I'm focused on on today is... My Herbal Magic Workbook by Papa Gems. I have these in my store. As well as Secrets of Magical Seals. This is a good book. This here is by Anna Riva. If you don't have it, I do sell these on my site, visionsbibleswory.com. I would say these are two books here. I totally have a whole library of books that I particularly own. And I sell a lot too, as you guys can see. One of the things broke, I'm waiting. So a lot of them are on the um, floor. But these two books right here are great to have in your um, library, your magical library. I'm telling you how to use them and put their power to work for you. This is great book to have, Secrets of Magical Seals. And it also gives you power prayers in this book where I'm going to use one of those to... Um, set the intention on this candle papa jim's a he is more it's more on the hoodoo voodoo side on this book so some of the herbs that are in this book are not in something like um let's see i have it right here something like this book which is more wiccan that's the encyclopedia medical i'm sorry magical herbs by scott cunningham so some things are in here that are not in here because this is more of a focus on hoodoo and voodoo culture. All right. But these are the two main books that I'm using today. 
All right, so I have a small glass of water. I always put my seven day candles or any glass type candle in this because I never, ever, ever distinguish the flame until it does it on its own. I don't. You could choose to do that, but this is what I choose to do. I also have a silver plate, and this here allows me to um, add all my herbs around my work and make it pretty, and I'm going to place it on my altar, okay? So, let's start with this candle. We're going to anoint the candle first. I'm going to place my books over here. Uh, so I'm going to take um, some, I'm using rue. I'm using rue as a cleansing. And it removes, banishes. So I'm going to spray this instead of using an incense to set the ambiance in the room of cleansing. It smells like cleansing. It smells like a purification type of smell. And this is rue. Pregnant ladies do not use rue. So, I have that. So, I set the ambiance for this work. Now, I'm going to take some Florida water. I usually place the cologne on my hands. Anoint my hands with it. I love Florida water. And I'm going to anoint this candle. If you use, sometimes... You should do it first because when you um, wipe the Florida water and you've already written your sigils, sometimes they'll come off. But I did it so you. This is for camera purposes or video purposes. So I usually um, cleanse first, then write sigil work. Okay, and I'm gonna fix these flaws right quick. One second, and I'm gonna show you this sigil. And on your candle, you're going to put birth dates, the names, birth dates of all the people associated with the candle. Let me rewrite this. Um, I'm going to rewrite this one second. So next time, I'm going to make sure I go ahead and cleanse the candle first because my husband drew this sigil for me guys because i can't draw a lick at all depression and this was happiness okay there we go i got it back on here all right so Let's talk about that sigil. This sigil right here. That sigil. Okay. In the Secrets of Magical Seals by Anna Reva. That's the sigil here. Right here. And this sigil overcomes worry, wipes out fear, and install installs self-confidence. So that's why I chose that particular sigil right here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with the number seven on this particular candle. Seven is a number of completion. I'm going to place seven holes and I do use a bamboo stick on the top of this candle going down as far as possible. So my oils will go down in the candle. And I also sell seven day candles as well on my site. They come as is or dressed for your set intention. I'll dress them for you. So we have seven holes. And I always usually rub the insides so all that ex ex excess wax will go. And I'll place it. Okay. Right, 
So when you're done, and don't place them too close to the edge of the candle or too close to the wick, if that makes sense. So, cleaning out the holes. And I like to use bamboo because bamboo is natural. I want to go as natural as possible. It's made of wood or bamboo, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So now that is done, I have my seven holes in my candle. I have all my work on my candle, what I want to pull in. Also, I wrote a petition that is it's more for me. So I won't read that on here, but the petition is written on petition paper like so. Like this with um, a quill pen and ink. That's just how I like to do it, but we're doing a petition on this work as well. So this is the candle with the seven holes. This is my oil. Next, I'm gonna add the conjure oil. This is the Healing Renew. And usually I don't pour. I usually use a, you know what? Let me get up and get a dropper right quick because I don't want to pour too much. Okay. Got me a little dropper here. So, with the conjure oil that is already set for use, you're going to place a couple of drops in each hole. Do not overdo it. You don't need much, but you're gonna go in each seven holes. And as you go in there, you're gonna be thinking or saying out loud, you wanna remove any depression and heal your body. And, you know, speak like that, healing, removing generational curses. Depression is gone. All right. Then we're going to add the herbs on top. Move this out the way. It'll look like that. You can't see anything because that oil is kind of clear. And I always blow into my candles my breath of life. Next, you're going to add the eucalyptus. And then I'm going to also be setting up my, um, my herbs, too, on my plate. I always surround my candles with, loaded with herbs for the work. So that's how I do it. You can do it however, whatever resonates with you. Or you can follow my way. So I'm going to start with some eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, again, is great for protection and healing. I'm heavy-handed, y'all. You do not have to use this much, but that's just how I do. And as well, I'm going to take some of the crushed pieces and place it on my candle. Do not use a lot. You do not need a lot. Remember, you do not want to burn anything too fast. And sometimes this causes, being heavy-handed, causes your work to um, give you that smut that you don't want and you can't, won't be able to read your candle. All right, that's enough. So we got the eucalyptus. Done. Next up, we're gonna add some corn flour. Corn flour is for peace and happiness. Add it all the way around. Peace and happiness. I love cornflower, it's so pretty. It's a pretty flower. Add a little bit in my working, in my candle. And then 
I'm also going to use um, the corn flour in my spell jar. I love the color. Okay. Next up, we're going to go with witch's grass. And the witch's grass is used for happiness, overcoming things, um, uncrossing, depression, removal. Come on, witch's grass. Let's go on here. Put it all the way around my word, honey. Witch's grass. And then I'm going to put a little on my candle. Anointing my candle with, and then I'm gonna put a little witch's grass in my spell jar. Okay. Next, we're gonna use some dog grass, and dog grass is used for removal of depression. No depression over here. Anxiety has to go. Again, I'm a little heavy-handed on my herbs because that's just the type of witch I, I am. And I want it to just be magnificent. I like pretty work. A little bit in here. I'm actually going to jump to lavender and because I like to layer my jars. So next, I'm going to put the lavender and then I'm going to go back to the dog grass on this one. Okay. So we're gonna add some lavender in this work. Lavender is for peace and um, happiness. And if you know what you're doing, you know to be setting the intent as you do the work. All right. A little bit on my candle, not too much. And then I'm gonna add some in my spell jar. And I like to rough it. A lot of people like to put it in a, um, a mortar. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You see how it is purple, green, purple? That's how I want it. Okay, we have the lavender. I'm gonna go back to the dog grass right quick and place it in my spell jar on top. And I do use the end of this to push the herbs down. Perfect. I'm gonna add some dog grass in this jar. And I'm gonna push it down as well. Because last but not least, close this. Done with the dog grass. I'm gonna add releasing herb. This is my own mix. It's hard to do anything without my nails done, honey. So seal, seal. There we go. So I'm going to put some releasing herb. And this is to release all of that built up fucking uh, anxiety. All of that built up depression. Any traumas. We're going to release that shit today. Not, no, no, no. Fear, no fear. I don't got time for that. Release that shit right now. The power. Put a little bit because I'm about to be herbed up. And I'm not going to place my releasing in the spell jar because I'm going to go on top with some crystals, some amethyst. I'm going to put this in my work. Amethyst is used for um, happiness and peace. Oh, that's pretty, y'all. in your work honey this is i buy good quality shit all right i'm gonna take some a couple of pieces and put on the candle on the working as well as in the spell jar okay That's what I want. Add some more. 
that's my spell jar for this work that I'm going to carry with me. I'm also going to um, melt some purple wax to close it up. And I'm going to keep this up under my bed or in my purse or with me to release all of that bad thoughts and all of that depression and anxiety and emotional traumas and generational traumas. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the side. I sell these on my site. Next, we're gonna take the citrine, which is charged. I did charge it, that's my altar, one of my altars. And you see the windowsill. Over the um, moon cycle, I charge this crystal. All of my crystals are charged, okay? So I'm gonna add this, add one here and one here. Y'all see? All right. Now I'm gonna light this candle off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna say and how it's gonna look. I usually take the stick and I push the herbs to the side. You don't want the herbs close to the wick. All right, that's my herbed up candle. See it? Pretty, pretty. So I place it in the jar with the water. Perfect. And this is how it looks. Okay, y'all see it? everything here all right so now back here this is the incantation that i'm going to be using it comes out from the secrets of magical seals by anna reva sold in my store and what i do is i'm going to say this again but i'm just telling you now before i light my candle what the incantation is and this is a power prayer and what i do is i take my energy place my hands something like this it just all depends on how i'm feeling but i do set the energy in the candle and i blow inside of my candle okay so this particular candle i'm gonna say may this day be blessed with good health according to the years of my life clarity of mind Freedom from anxiety and a restful spirit. I am an empty vessel that needs to be filled. My faith is weak, strengthen it. My love is shallow, deepen it. My defenses are feeble, fortify them. My heart is troubled, give peace to it. My thoughts are trivial, uplift them. My fears are many, diminish them. My soul is sore, heal it make me to know that all things are possible through love that's the power prayer or the incantation that i'm going to be speaking over this particular candle or if you order this candle that is the incantation that i speak over that particular candle okay if you feel like you want to add more oils do so but again be very light-handed you do not have to go all in to um and be heavy handed in order to prove that you have a great, powerful candle. You don't need all that, okay? Now this is my candle and it is done. Pretty work. And after this candle, usually this particular candle takes about seven days to um, go down and distinguish However long it takes, that's just however long it's going to be. And every day I'm going to meditate over this particular candle. Usually spirit wakes me up around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I get on up, sit with my candle and do say my prayers, say the incantation or whatever you're going to do over the candle. Sit with the flame, stare at the flame, envision yourself cleansed, envision yourself or anything that's going on in your life removed. Take it out your life and calm down and 
it just gives you a common feeling very common feeling guys and i love candle magic candle magic it works wonders for me so that is my healing property um this is the end i have everything done i'm going to end up and i'll come back with another um not a video but probably a couple of pictures if you are subscribed to me on my other social media platforms you will see the pictures Please make sure you like, subscribe, and support my channel. If you have any questions about this particular spell or candle ritual, please reach out to me on my website, visionsbyvasuri.com, with the title of said video. And the question, I will try to answer your questions as best as I can. Remember, only come into my space respectfully. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload new spells and rituals. Also, go check out my website, visionsbyvasori.com, for any of your spiritual needs. All of my links are listed in the bio. And as always, many blessings of abundance. Bye, y'all.